Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot. I thank you for stopping by. I am so grateful for all of your love and support. Um, I, I am just overwhelmed with all of the high vibrations coming in with the comments and all the love and support. Thank you so very, very much. This reading is going to go ahead and be for the second half of February. So let's go ahead and get just one card of the overall energy for the second half of February. And then I do want to go ahead and Sagittarius remind you to please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if this does go ahead and resonate with you. All right, so we've got the Hermit for your overall energy. All right, and if you're new, I welcome you to Spiritual Wellness Tarot. And I do want to go ahead and let you know that I do read strictly intuitively, so I do not read reversals. Let's see what we have here. All right, so we've got the Hermit, and then we've got the Death card. All right, end of a phase. I personally like the Death card because I know that, that things are going to start changing. Then we have the Six of Fire, which is the Six of Wands. Let's get two more cards here, please, Angels and Spirit Guides for Sagittarius. Six of Earth and King of Air. Nice, right? So we've got two sixes right here in front of us. So definitely look and see what, um, you know, what the angel number of sixes are. Sixes are usually about relaxation, doing adjustments, right? Maybe having some, some good news coming on and just enjoying enjoying life so let's get started right now Sagittarius for you so your overall energy is the hermit the hermit I'm actually kind of a hermit sometimes no <laughs> I, I like to be by myself do you like to be by yourself give me a give me a comment below if you like to be by yourself but the hermit is actually looking for inner strength right looking for clarity looking for personal truth see how he's standing he's holding his stick and he's got his light with the um with the bright bulb on right so he's looking for ideas he's looking for inner strength and if you actually look at the um at the hangman right who's all about looking for different perspectives that type of thing he also has this light bright this or this bright light um you know that's that's flashing and things so the hermit you know it could be for the next couple weeks that you just need to go within yourself and look for some look for some answers right if you have some questions look for some answers what's going on you know what do i need to go ahead and change so i can become this king right so i can go ahead and become relaxed as these sixes are right so we have the um, number 13, the death card, which is the end of a phase or situation, right? Maybe having a little spiritual transformation, which is what this hermit is all about, right? It's all about clarity, all about, all about knowing yourself, learning yourself, getting that inner strength going, right? And with the, with the death card, it's time to move on. It's time for you to move forward. The Six of Wands is all about victory, all about moving forward, right? He's happy. He's on his horse. The horse is prancing. They're throwing flowers at him, petals at him. He's being recognized, right? He's, so it might be that you're, that you are going to go ahead and get maybe at work, get a recognition, right? Maybe get an award at work. Maybe, um, you know, maybe it could be even if you're self-employed. Maybe you will get some new clients or, you know, we all know being self-employed sometimes you don't get the recognition like you want to, right? Or you don't, you, it, depending on what you're into, right? You, you just don't feel recognized, right? You don't feel like, you wonder, is this all what's going on, right? I'm working so hard, but nobody's saying good job. Nobody's saying, oh, you did, a, you did awesome, right? So that's up to us to believe in ourselves and know that we are doing a good job. And it could be that somebody's going to come up to you and say, you know what? I really like your readings or I really like how you clean the carpet or I really like how you know you you do something right so it could be that you've got some some recognitions coming you've got some victories coming with the six of pentacles same same right giving and receiving things prosperity charity gifts right she's this fairy is moving is moving coins from here to the here right she is giving she's giving gifts of money she's got some new career opportunities maybe right and that's 
And that's what I'm talking about here with the Six of Fire. You've got some new things coming up, especially with this Death card. You've got something new coming up in the next couple of weeks. And this is it's going to be beautiful. It's going to go ahead and allow you to be confident, right? Allow you to be balanced. Allow you to, to know that you are the king, right? You are the king. You are a strategic, powerful thinker. You are moving forward. This is beautiful because I feel that you're going to be coming out of your own, right? You might have a situation that um, that you just weren't quite sure of, right? You, you have the feelings, but you're just not sure of. Realize that it is your time to, to change. It is your time to show your strength, Sagittarius. It is your time to be the king. Ride up on those horses. Give, right? And also, you know, when we give, that allows things to come to us. So that allows energy to, when you give, you give away, right? So you have room to receive. When you clean your closet out, right? You give those clothes away, and then you have room for more, right? You have more room for, for clothes, more room for shoes. So give, and more will come back to you to receive. Let's go ahead and get some clarifiers here for these cards here for Sagittarius, please. Angels and spirit guides, go ahead and give me some clarifiers for these cards here. All right, there's one. Let's see if we can get a couple more here popped out. All right, so this is this is great, Sagittarius. Realize that, that um, you know, things do change, right? Things change, and it's time to move forward. Oh, we've got some wands going on here. Okay. Oh, look at that. Holy crumb. Wow. Okay. Giving and receiving here with the five or the six of cups. We've got some wands, so you might be feeling a little bit exhausted. All right. Let's see what we have here. So it could be, you know, with this ten of wands, right, he has not given up, right? This person is, he's still forging forward, right? He's still headed towards the castle. He's still headed towards his project. We know when we start something new, right? Because we're going to start something new. Something is going to go ahead and change here. That it may take a lot of work, right? It may take a lot of energy to continue to move forward, right? We will be exhausted. We, I mean, when you start a new business, good Lord have mercy. If you've ever started a new business or tried to start a new business, or even if you've gotten a new job, right? It, everything changes, right? There's something, you, you're exhausted, you're stressed, you have so many burdens on you, right? You just don't know where to go. But realize when you go further, when you look into clarity, when you look into your inner strength, you have got it. You've got this, right? You are moving forward and it is not going to, don't let it beat you, right? Don't let it beat you. Continue, strive forward, We've got the, the five of wands, and that's all about obstacles. And I think it's interesting that we've got the ten of, ten of wands also, right? Um, because the five of wands is about obstacles. Different things can happen, right? When you're moving forward, when you're striving forward, shit happens, right? Things can happen. You don't like it. You might start a new job and come home and be crying or if or be pissed off or, you know, because you don't know. And not knowing is scary, whether it be not knowing about your health, not knowing about a business, not knowing about work, not knowing about a lover. It's scary, right? It's challenging. That's where you need to go in. You need to go into your gut. You need to go into your, um, into your intuition and realize that I can do this. I can handle, I can forward, have my forward movement because I know that it is going to be helpful. It is going to be strong. I am going to come out as the king. We've got the queen of wands. And she's a feisty person, right? She's she's full of life. She's confident. She's assured of herself. She commands attraction, right? And that's what's going to happen with you once you have released yourself from the burdens, gone into clarity, you are going to be that feisty person, Sagittarius. You're going to be strong. You're going to have that cat in front of you. You're going to be holding that flower. You're going to be strong. And with all these wands right here, that's all about taking action. Wands are, are spiritual 
um, beings, right? They, they, it's all about taking action, all about moving forward. And that's where you see forging forward, taking forward, right? M looking at the obstacles and moving forward. Then we have the Six of Cups, which is about giving, right? And we love to give, right? The Queen of Love, uh, the Queen of Love, <laughs> the Queen of Wands likes to give. She's a, she's a confident person, right? She commands that attention. She likes to give her flowers. And that's just what this gal is doing here. She's giving gifts, right? And, and we talked about when you give something, you receive more, right? So it is time for you to get into your own self, into your inner strength, into your personal truth, get some clarity and give, right? When you give, you receive. Oh, this is beautiful. This is just wonderful. What a change for you, um, Sagittarius. What a beautiful change the next couple of weeks is going to be for you. You know, just know that you can forge, right? You're foraging forward. You're getting rid of the competition, right? You're moving forward. You're going to become this queen. Um, you know, you're going to become the king. You're going to um, be brilliant. You're going to be moving forward. Let's go ahead and get a couple more clarifiers here. Follow through. All right, let's see what we have here. The spark of the hustle. Yes. And what is he doing? He's hustling. He's moving forward. He knows that there's changes coming. He knows that there's an end of the phase. There's end of a situation, right? He wants transformation. He wants to move forward. And so he knows that he needs to continue to hustle, right? And that's what the hermit is learning as he goes in for inner strength. You need to hustle. You need to follow through. Look, follow through. And that's exactly, you know, with all these wands, they're continuous, right? They take action. They move forward. They keep going. And Sagittarius, you keep going. Keep moving forward. Keep following through so you have that recognition. You have that love, right? You have that, that um, confirmation that you are a queen and a king, right? You have that power. The edge of evolution feels messy, but we know that it's not going to be, right? We know that it can be messy, right? Because you're, you're forging forward. You're moving forward. But we know that once you're done, you're going to be this king, right? You're going to have the strategic thinking um, brain, right? You're going to be leader. You're going to be powerful, you're going to be that alchemy, right? You're going to be that creator. You're going to be that love. Transformation is happening. Transformation is happening, Sagittarius. Oh, I get so excited and I talk, start talking fast. So sorry if I'm talking too fast, but I just get so excited because I truly believe in the human being. I believe in their love. I believe in the way that they can change their life. And it just gets me so excited when I know that if they listen to their guidance and if they listen to their love and if they listen to their inner strength, they're going to be the best person they can. And Sagittarius, I want you to be the best person that you can be. Oh, this is, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Transformation is good. And that's where you're headed, Sagittarius. That's where you're headed. All right. I love you all, Sagittarius. Please go ahead and leave a like and comment if this does resonate with you. Check with your sun, moon, and rising signs for the overall energy for the next couple weeks of February. I love you all. Namaste.